maybe I should have saved them. Alright guys, we just sold the enchanted wood. Uh, Pearl of Wisdom. Ah, so close. I really want 50. We need 8k. 40 nitro. That's 11,000. Let's go. 278 is the lowest? Damn. Okay, as we're doing these uh, adventure quests, the reward is always some adventurine. Uh, you can use it at a NPC in the club. I'm not going to show it right now, but it's, we probably have one in the Trove Academy. But you can also buy things from this green person. I'm going to use mine to buy bombs. I don't recommend this. I recommend that you go to that other trader and get everything for mastery instead. And you get bombs later for flux or just play without them for a while. I'm so used to having them though that I'm going to buy them. Ooh, I saw that. All right, locked adventurine box again. We're earning a lot. Okay, this quest gave us a fire gem. Probably have that slot. It has... Ooh, it's perfect. Magic damage, crit damage, crit hit. It's low power rank though for being level 1, but that's fine. Get to level 20 is the next quest. All right. The best way to get experience. Oh, we just got even more flux. Nice. Let's get the pearls now. Interrupting the program. Pearl. Ooh, someone's selling small stacks. We also have enough for the quester thing. Boom, let's get that. So, best way to get experience. I'm just going to go through that first. The best way is to do daily quests in as high of an Uber as you can. If you can't do these, like you can't even go here yet, you can go to Geo Sanctuary, do the Geode part of the game, which I'm not going to cover on the channel, I don't think. You can get a lot of experience too. But since I can go here now, I could do this if I could complete five star dungeons because you only need to complete two. Let's try five star one and let's try if we can do a five star dungeon with no light. Wait, actually, before we try that, we're going to use those pearls that we just bought. So go to the club. We're just going to spam. OK, so upgraded star gear cannot be traded. I don't care because when we get crystal gear, we're just going to loot collect this and we will get all those pearls back so we can put them on the crystal gear again which is awesome. So, boom. Spam upgrade. Okay. Face upgrade. Yeah. Hat. Yeah. Great. All right. So we got movement speed, movement speed, movement speed. Wow. That's super nice, actually. So with those upgrades, let's see if we have a chance in the world to do five star dungeons. Nope. <laughs> we don't do any damage. Like, I'm not even doing damage to the Cursed Skull enemies, so an actual boss would be impossible. And I will just go to Uber 8 in the normal world, and we're just gonna look for the adventures that we haven't done yet. Nice, we immediately got one here. So this one is just to do five dungeons, which is perfect, because when we go to Igneous here, I guess we could do Uber 8. So yeah, complete five dungeons and then the fire quest is to complete or get five uh, boxes. I could go to a lower Uber, do like four dungeons, which are easier, and then just come back to Uber 8 and finish it. Because then I get the experience bonus from Uber 8. But I'm just going to do it here. So let's just look at our experience bar, how much one normal dungeon gives. I think for me, I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna wait for my dailies tomorrow. So tomorrow we're gonna get a new star bar. We're gonna get the arcane emblem. We're gonna get new dailies so we can hit level 20. So yeah, there was some maintenance today, so we got three double experience potions and a day of patron extra. That's going to be really nice. I am definitely going to use this XP thing right now. If I were you, I would probably save it for a Saturday with the Saturday experience bonus. Use that at the same time when you're just hardcore grinding XP. But yeah, I have a smaller goal, so I'm just going to use it now. Okay, 
Okay, we hit level 20, we get our new gem, explosive epilogue, nice, it has magic damage and crit hits, that's amazing. It only has two stats, so this will absolutely not be our last slotted gem here, but we'll take it. I got level 20, I still got these, uh, some daily quests left, but I'm not gonna do them now, I'm gonna go do the main quest still, and then if I get another quest telling me, like, get level 25, then maybe I'm already at 10k power rank, whereas I can complete those daily quests in Uber 9 instead, which will give me more experience later. Okay, so here's a gem forge. All right. Seems we need to teleport to see it. All right, guys, this is the test. Okay, so let's try it now. Pop the potion. Yeah, it's easy. By the way, now that I'm level 20, I could go get my crystal gear, which I totally forgot about. Although I would have to leech someone since I can't do this my own yet. But yeah, I could make the weapon, I guess. All right, let's see what we get on our first staff. Attack speed. Oh, man. It doesn't really matter that I got attack speed, but I would have preferred <laughs> anything else. Loot collect. And we go to the forge here again. Okay, so they want us to upgrade 20 times. That means I will go for the stellar ones to 10 first. Oh, you get a... Oh, it's laser mancy, never mind. Okay, so that's crap. This would be good power rank though for you if you didn't have a stellar ring already. So I got some radiant gems here, which only one of them is arcane, but... I'm not saying you should keep these to use, maybe as a placeholder, but we're so close to 10k power rank now that we can go to Uber 9 and leech, or maybe even do the dungeons ourselves. If you keep these, level them to 15, like you could keep them in your chest here. Also, your page 5 is unlocked, we're gonna level them up tomorrow, because now it's 11.20 am. So in one and a half hour-ish, we're gonna go over to gem day. And that's when you wanna spend your day leveling gems, farming gems. So I don't wanna overwhelm you with things to do. I just wanna quickly mention Bomber Royale here. Every day you can take this quest, play Bomber Royale one match, and you will get some extra coins. And also you will get a egg fragment for this dragon here. For me, I'm not gonna do this on this account because I don't plan on going that deep. I guess we'll have a little section here where I give you a bunch of tips. I'm gonna show you now what you do with the Adventurine. So let's go to the club. Like all clubs will have their merchant in different areas, but I assume ours is like back here in the old spawn here with some random things. So here is where I spend some time in the guide showing you things. And if we head over to this palace. <laughs> It's in here, it's this guy. So here you want to spend your adventurine, not on bombs like I do. Most important is getting these dragon egg fragments. Just don't get this thing, because you don't want a radiant gem. If we just take a look here at my sheet now, we can see that I need the flux to buy a crystal ring. I need to get stronger so I can do geo topside dungeons to get my crystal hat and face. And then we need another ally, which gives the same bonuses as this one, but it also gives 300 light which we get from here. I think I showed it in the guide as well. We go to Delve Allies, the bottom four. This one, you see, it has the same bonus as the Penguin, but it gives 300 light. We need to do some Delves to get this. We need to do some Delves and get the caches from the Delves and open up some materials to get this. We can even use the Kelp that we get from Delves. So now I'm gonna do this quest and fill out my star bar before the next day comes. So hopefully, we're gonna take this quest to do 5-star dungeons. We're gonna hopefully do some with someone. Alright, this guy's close to me, so he's probably coming to help. Yay! Look, we got this one again. It's awesome.
All right, guys, so we got a bit carried. A guy helped us out to find our first pieces of crystal gear. I didn't tell him I was doing a video or anything, so that was totally just random stranger kindness. So it exists. And let's see. So now we're level 23. We got another water gem slot here. We are super close now to 10k power rank. Let's see where we're at when we have put in the pearls here. And after putting in the pearls, we are 9,000. We're 110 power rank away. So level 10. And 10k power rank. Now we can go uber 9 and get all of the stellar gems we need. And 30 more dungeons is the quest. And from these boxes, if I can't get Radiant, I will just open it all and loot collect it. So you see this one, I can get a Radiant gem. So I'm actually going to save this in the box until it's Wednesday. And then I'm going to open them all and I'm going to upgrade the Radiant and then loot collect them to get the most dust. If I were you in this very moment, there's one hour left of this gathering day. I would have joined, you see, when I was in here, this guy was saying hosting Ganda Train. I would have joined that guy, ran with them. I would have gotten a bunch of Nitro before the day ends. And then when it's Wednesday, we can go back to doing dungeons. We will get more gems, etc. But for me right now, I will just focus on the quest. And now since the quest is just to do more dungeons, we're missing a water gem here. We're gonna go to U9 water and hopefully find someone there. No players found. Well, let's try our first Uber 9 dungeon with our fresh 10k power rank. All right, let's see. That was actually much easier than I thought. Wow, we just did it. Let's see if we can get a good gem from the first box. Oh, shadow. But the thing is, nowadays, you can just put a gem in here. Yes. And then we can just drag it out when we want to. It doesn't cost anything. So you see, I get some more magic damage and health. So like, why not use this for now? I'll just equip that until we find more boxes. And now it's tip time. So there is a Discord you can join where you can find club quests. We type this again. You see, we have 20 more rewards from club quests. There are a couple you could grab before you go do your other things and you will just passively gain these bonuses. So people will put their club name in there and you can just join world and their name. They will type it in that discord. I will show you some screenshots or some footage here while I'm talking about it. You can just go there, grab a quest and then typically I will take, collect one chaos chest, trigger magic find 50 times and then the type of gem box that I'm gonna farm. So as I am approaching level 25 here, I realized that I will need a cosmic empowered gem. And I was like, hmm, I don't have any empowered gem boxes ready for that. So to get that, we need lunar souls to buy them from shadowy market. Let's see how many keys we can make here. So we can make 17 delve shadow keys. Let's just make them all because you can't do anything else with this. So this is just what you get from doing dungeons, which we've done a lot. All right. Now that I have the keys, now we need to do delves. We need to do 18 depth straight. Well, they can be if you want to do them all in one run, but you can spread them out. But we can open six vaults each week in the delves. It has to be 25 depth or higher. So that's what I'm going to do now. I don't know which depth I can handle, but depth 40. I have a portal here in my inventory, so I'm going to try that. We could invite some more people, but let's try this. And that will be the cliffhanger for part two.